Today I'm doing something I've never seen before. I'm gonna take this melody loop that I cooked up. And I'm gonna see if I can make three completely different genres using only that loop. But here's the kicker. I can add as many instruments as I want, but I cannot change the loop in any way except for the tempo. You guys didn't think this was gonna be easy, did you? The three genres we're gonna do are, number one is gonna be trap. Well, because this melody is epic and it's gonna make a great trap beat. Two, let's do like an 80s The Weeknd style type thing. And three, let's do rock and roll because nobody does rock and roll anymore. Before we get started, make sure to obliterate the like button and turbo blast the subscribe button. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about the rock and roll. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work, but that's future me's problem. So let's get started with the trap beat. Now the 808's gotta be huge and fat. Almost there. How about we add just the crash in a tubular bell? Chopping up the parts a little bit. loop ripped as a trap beat. I gotta call Dracula right now. But now we might be in trouble because we have to find a way to make this loop work with an 80s R&B The Weeknd style thing. How on earth are we gonna do that? All right, I need to take a quick break. I gotta run to the store, but I'm gonna use this next 30, 40 minutes to kind of think about how I can blend rock and roll with that like Dracula synth and also how to make a kind of 80s R&B vibe. It's gonna be a challenge, but I'm pretty excited to see the outcome. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, that's got a pretty good bounce to it. I think I'm gonna have a kick and snare that sounds like this. Driving hi-hats. That's ripping. Let's just hear the drums on the bass line to make sure they're working well together. We're headed in the right direction, but it definitely needs a little bit of glam. So let's add some sort of twinkly belly synth. Okay, for the intro, I'm thinking straight drums to get the groove going, drum fill, and then everything is gonna hit. Let's see if it sounds good. sudden, I'm not so scared about the rock and roll. I'm a little scared, okay. But not that scared anymore. I think it's obvious what we gotta start with for the rock and roll. We need some head slamming drums. Not only does the bass line have to be really catchy and groovy, but I feel like the sound needs to be grungy and distorted. How about this one? Woo, that was kind of cool, hold on. Let's hear that with the drums real quick. And it's definitely not a rock song without some guitar solo shredding. Woo! Pop it all together and let's see if this rocks out. Wow, that was definitely a fun one, guys. Thanks for joining me. Please let me know which one was your favorite, the trap version? 80s R&B, The Weeknd? Or good old fashioned rock and roll? And remember, if you still haven't obliterated and destroyed the like and subscribe,
subscribe button, do it right now, or I'm never gonna make another video ever again. And that's gonna be your fault. Last but not least, if you have any crazy genre ideas for the next video, drop them in the comments below, and the most upvotes will be the next genre that I'm gonna do. See you next time, if the world is still around.